The basic premise is that I find this record that my grandmother made for my grandpa, her husband, before he goes to war, and it's her voice telling him she loves him, and then she sings a, a song. And we're here at Third Man Records, and we made a series of recordings into the Record Your Own Voice uh, booth where you can uh, record directly onto a record. It's very clear. Our love is here to stay. The Voiceograph was uh, almost a tourist attraction. If you'd be on holiday with your family, you could record an audio postcard. They often came with uh, a mailing envelope and a stamp, and you could mail it to your family back home in Peoria. This was a novelty back in the 40s and the 50s. People had never heard their voices recorded before. What the side of the booth says, it says, hear yourself as others hear you. Once you step inside the booth, you feel like you're in a whole other world. It's like quiet and you have one shot. You can't pause it and re do retakes. Do what you're gonna do for two and a half minutes and then be done and you've got a record. When I find this record, I bring it to my room and I put it onto my computer and sort of remix it with my own harmonies and a guitar. I use GarageBand to record basically all of my music. I did like three, three guitar tracks and the rest are harmonies. Anyone who's not tech savvy like myself can just kind of like find their way around it. There's definitely a significance to that as well. If something can be that easy to do and that you can spread your music around, record a song on GarageBand and have it online in under an hour, that's an amazing thing that the times that we live in. My husband, when we were recording, did a mix for me of a song that I had recorded, and that was like, super special. To me, it doesn't really matter what the technology is, it's what you do with it. Whether it's GarageBand and a mix to sort of, you know, woo somebody who's 4,000 miles away, or whether it's doing a record in a booth to tell somebody that you love them. I mean, I think it's really not just the tool, it's the message.